and it deals with prayer. Because God said no to David's request. Someone who, who, who loved the Lord, uh, the Lord was with them, as Nathan said. Uh, God says no. God says no. And so as we read this, maybe you're thinking of a request, whether you've prayed it right now, maybe you've prayed it in the past, and basically God has said no to you. And, and, and you might be confused. You might be frustrated. You might be disappointed. And, and maybe you don't really sense it's a no, but, but his silence really says maybe no or not yet. Don't, don't, don't forget that when God says not yet, his delays are not his denials. Okay? Don't forget that. But, when, but what I'm trying to tell you, and, and when I prepared this message a couple months ago, I was so looking forward. I've been looking forward today to share this good news with you, and that is this. God's no's are deeper yeses to better things. I mean, praise God that God is the God of the yes. And so when he says no to you, whether you thought, man, that, I, I totally get the no, or maybe you're confused, just know that his no's are always leading to a deeper and a better yes. That's who God is. He is the God of the yes. And those yeses, oftentimes, in the case of David here, he couldn't even dream. He couldn't even imagine what this yes might be. And God has to reveal it. And I, and I, and I pray that that encourages you because so oftentimes we get so discouraged in our prayer life. In fact, I, I got to believe that some of us that are listening to this message right now, you are discouraged regarding your prayer life. Not, not saying you've given up on prayer, but maybe you just don't have the same passion like you once did. Or, or maybe you're, you're going through it as kind of a, a, a duty. And, and, and you're thinking, what would encourage you in your prayer life? Well, well God would answer my prayer. You know, that's, that's, what I, that, that, that's what I would like to see, a breakthrough. And sometimes that happens, but sometimes it doesn't. What I'm trying to, 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 to tell you and what I've been praying for you, and, and maybe you're going to take this and you're going to start praying it for other people, right? And that is this, that may your eyes see the the untold, the uncountable, the, the unimaginable yeses that God has already surrounded you with. Uh, you might be praying ten things to God, and you might get one or two of those things that you, it's a no. And you, and you focus, okay, you focus on those one or two no's, but, but look around to all the yeses that God has already given to you. That, that alone, whether God answers that prayer that you would like him to say yes, whether that actually happens or not, or whether it still remains a no, okay, that's not what really is going to encourage you. What's encouraging you is that, listen, God has already surrounded you with all these yeses. And so as you look to the yeses, you're like, that's, the God is a God of a yes. And it gives you faith. In right here and right now, that, that if there's a reason why God said no, it's because it's going to lead to a deeper and better yes. And I don't know what that looks like. I, don't, I can't even imagine that. But I'm just going to trust. I'm going to trust that God is a God of, a, of the yeses. And God's no's lead to deeper and better Yes, man, I, I pray, I got to believe that someone needed to hear that to encourage you in your prayer life. And, and I got to believe that someone this week or someone in the next couple of weeks, you, God's going to use you to encourage someone else's prayer life that, that says, listen, listen, you, I know you want an answer to this prayer, but God's no leads to better yeses, and may God open your eyes, and you're going to be praying this for other people, that, that God, may God open their eyes to the untold and unimaginable and uncountable prayers that he's already said yes to.